This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co-anchors with me, Ife Olua Oshunkaye and Ife Omai. Hola. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Namaste. How are you guys doing? Um, pretty good. You're looking gorgeous, and you Thank too. You. Thank you. I Thank love you. the heart. Thank you. Mm. Amazing. Okay. Nice style. Ah, okay, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, moving on. Music executive and special advisor on tourism to Governor Ben Ayade, Ubi Franklin, donates four months of his salary to help Cross River um, battle COVID-19. Okay, so I must confess that I'm glad that he's in the news for something really nice. This is the second time after you're a glad. Long time. Really, what was the first one? The fact that he was appointed as the... Um, What's it called? Was I glad then? Yeah, you were. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, I like what he just did. I mean, I don't know what the salary is, but whether it is small or big, it it, it takes a lot to say you're letting go of your salary to mm. put it into mm. the state you are serving. So, I mean, some people have called for our senators to do the same. But I don't think that is coming, uh, mm. that is going to happen anytime soon. So, yeah, kudos to Ubi Franklin for doing this. Okay, so my only question is, um, who will this donation be going to? I hope it's not the government. I what just hope. Says, uh, hmm? He's helping the government. Yeah, he's I know. Like, things. that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just hoping that, okay, even if it's the government, it has to be a credible government official, not the greedy ones that cannot account for <laughs> There's what... no way to separate the ways from the draft now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the channel no, is well, because going... Because I'm bothered about... Um, um, these donations to the government because it's okay, important. Okay, this one is to Cross River government. Okay, yeah. then, then that government. no, no, for the Cross River government. Mm -hmm. Are you saying they're not corrupt leaders in Cross River? Mm. I don't know. Exactly. So we need people. We need the donation to go to, and it needs to be transparent. What are you doing with it? What are we? And he already dropped um, an image to back up what he's saying. So he's putting his money where his mouth is. So I like that about him. But I just hope that this donation will actually get to the people that actually need it and yeah. not just be I mean, I've something had, added to the For the longest time, people. it felt like um, COVID-19 was only in Lagos, at least. Um, and well, it was mostly about the FG and Lagos states that I was hearing. I wasn't really hearing much on how things were going. Mm. I think Ogun State Governor and Oshun State Governor also tried a little bit, but the noise wasn't really there. And I didn't hear anything, especially mm. from the East and stuff. So I'm glad that there's people coming up from there that are, you know, also trying to help their community and everything. Like usually it's always about Lagosians because we're, I guess you can say more wealthy, we have more amassed wealth and stuff. So I'm glad that he's doing that for his people. Um, they don't have a, a high number of cases. So I want to know what that means because it's clearly not to the patients per se. I think mm. there's only like two um, or one. Um, so I want to know what that looks like. Obviously, that money will be for precautionary measures, like maybe helping people to self-isolate better mm -hmm. and things like that. But, you know, that's just me guessing and assuming. I want to know. It breakdowns like when you were giving that money. I feel like it's also your responsibility to follow up through. Um, and I, I, I like to believe that he is connected to the grassroots and knows what the people in Cross River State need and mm. not just what the government thinks that people need because there's a big difference. So I would just like to know that and I hope that he follows up with that story, which is what I'm, I'm hoping to happen with a lot of the celebrities that are coming out is that there is a follow-up story. Well, this is what we ne we've been able to do. If not, I'm just hearing numbers and um, I'm not saying I'm not seeing I'm not really yeah, seeing it. So I'm beginning to get over this whole thing of like I'm giving people money, people are giving money I'm, because I want to know like, okay, where's that going to? Because I, kind of, I don't want you to come and tell me now that your money was also burnt up in that building mm. and you know it's gone like I want a follow-up story and then I also want to use this medium to tell people that look COVID-19 is not over the fact that we've been on lockdown for close to um, two weeks now doesn't mean that we can start shaking and start hugging because I noticed that people are beginning to get back to their old lives and they're beginning they're not doing the social distancing so much anymore yeah. like I was coming to work today I saw a lot of people on the road at the bus stop and the distance between them wasn't so much a lot of people were so cramped up. cramped up to get cramped up together and all that so i i just want to use this medium to tell people that look it is still real it is still out there we're still self-isolating there's still social distancing so still keep your distance the fact that two weeks it's not enough for yeah, you yeah i think that's the problem with having like a fear driven campaign is that fear has fatigue so i can only be so scared after a while i lose that that adrenaline mm. but if you're educating people and like i am aware of how the virus works and how it moves and 
So I don't need to be fearful. I just need to be cautious and mm. then that lasts longer. So I'm hoping that people actually hear what you're saying because I know sometimes I forget and I'm not as... I guess paranoid, paranoid is not the word, but I'm not as cautious as I should be mm. or as I was maybe when the news first broke and we had like, let's say 20 people And then I'm wondering in Lagos. what the um, checkpoints are actually doing because the people standing at the bus stop were so much. I don't know if you guys saw well, the let's, same. Let's take it back to, um, what's his name, Uber Franklin and the Cross River State. So I was reading up on what the Cross River State is doing because I, I, I think I have been hearing a lot from other states. Mm. It's not just Lagos mm -hmm. and the federal government mm -hmm. because the governors are talking. People mm -hmm. are trying to make sure it doesn't come from Lagos to Cross River. And some of them are saying most of the cases, I think the one from Cross River is someone who came to Lagos two weeks ago mm -hmm. and had contact or was exposed. So they are careful and wanting to make sure they put the whole precautionary measures. But I think the area that um, Ubi is actually advising the governor on, which is the garments making thing, they have been commissioned to create masks for the citizens. And I think there's also a, a law that says you don't if you don't have a max on in cross river state you cannot step out of the house so a lot is going on and i hope that this money will also help them carry out everything because when you talk about donations and breakdowns sometimes you might not really get that breakdown if you are not actively following that story and there, there is so much to follow you're following lagos state you're following abuja you're following uk you're, you just need to be on it so most times you just look at the the headline oh this has been done but each of these donations is this one now that is coming from Ubi that is basically saying, you know what, don't pay me my formal salary. There is always a breakdown to say this is what and what is going to happen. Do we need accountability? Yes. I don't know how we can get that from Cross River State to say, oh, this is the person that is... Well. Um, yeah, accountability, transparency. I don't know how that can happen, but a lot is going on right now and everybody's doing almost everything they can at this point in time. So the tea tank, what are we doing? Should we donate like five I mean, I've done mine in my personal life, but I'm not going to... In your personal life? <laughs> in the, the way I'm capable, but I haven't done any, like, you know... No, I'm saying she would give like giving. five months of our salary. <sighs> Moving on real quick to the next story. <laughs> Renard Fenty got the coronavirus disease and um, Rihanna did right by him. She bought a ventilator and checked in on her dad every day as he battled the disease. Fenty um, says he has his daughter to thank for his recovery. Although he also said that he didn't ever have to use the ventilator. But I mean... This is where they say money is good in life. People that are shouting vanity upon vanity, I don't understand, but it's okay. I'm happy that she, he, um, he had, he has access to a daughter that cares that much and would mm. go far and beyond for for them. Um, I followed up on the story with her website, and they were saying that the ventilator is now actually in use for people who need it. But the numbers they are very low, um, and they haven't actually had the need yet. Well, I'm not trying to profess any negativity, but right now it's not it's not a need. But um, it, it made me think about how like. Um, for somebody like uh, Rihanna, there was just so much positivity around her and wanting her dad to survive because of how much she has given to people. Um, and I, I guess that's something I, I also want to take from her is that you can, as long as, as much as you're taking care of other people, it's very good to remember your own. There's a lot of givers I know personally that neglect their family. So mm -hmm. they're amazing in society standards. They give a lot to humanitarians and plaques and everything, but they um, abandon or neglect yeah, their own family. So I'm glad to see that, you know, she more and more, except for just not her giving me an album, more and more she's just like wowing me. And I'm like, if you're falling more in love with, more in love with her, I'm happy that the man himself also fought for his life because it's quite old and stuff. So that was obviously, I can imagine that that was very scary, but I mean, kudos to her. And I mean, why not? If I had the, the means, I would do that for my family as well. All right, so I'm just going to touch in on forgiveness because um, you can remember that they had um, a little issue um, sometime last year, or was it earlier this year, when it was using the You've fancy... had a lot of issues, actually. Yeah, when it was using the fancy thing. So, family, it just shows that family is everything. Regardless of what goes down, you still got to love your family. And um, that's um, something she just showed. And um, by checking up on him every day, she, they said she's been in the hospital every day. She bought him the ventilator and all of that. So, like you said, Rihanna, Rihanna is doing... She's doing well. Yeah. I like the angle you brought into this conversation because that was what came to mind when and the whole thing happened but mm. is it really for me it's not really about family being everything i feel like if i know someone and i like someone or we are family like you mentioned 
there is room for knowing when business is business and when family conversations is family conversations. So Rick if do you understand? So when if he if he his name is run out, but let's just continue and ask that. If he wakes up tomorrow or after COVID and he tries to drag down her business again, I know her team would definitely say drag him to court mm -hmm. and do the right thing. But right now you need help and you are my dad, I have the uh, means. I mean, mm. if I can do it for strangers, like you have said, why can't I do it for someone who is my father? So I like that she can, she and her team, let me put it that way, can differentiate or put a line between yeah, when it's business, time for business and, and when it's time to be family. Nice. All right, we'll go on a very quick break, but when we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Before we move on to our next conversation, we know you're home and on lockdown. So we would like to know what exactly you're doing at home to keep yourself busy. Or if you don't want to tell us that, just send us a video of you vibing to the song you're enjoying right now. So send that via WhatsApp to 090-6000-5719. That's 090-6000-5719. And of course, we'll definitely feature you on the next episode of Tea Time, and that's at 4.30. So don't forget to send that to 090-6000-5719. Moving on to the next story. Tyler Perry mourns one of his crew members, um, Charles Gregory. Um, he also wants black community of coronavirus danger. In an Instagram post, he said, while everyone can contract this virus, it is black people who are dying from it in much larger numbers. This thing is real. Black people, I heard a black person say, black people don't get it. That's a lie. You can get it and you will get it if you don't do what you're being told to do. End of quote. There's a lot of warnings right now coming from the black community, um, especially because they're the hub of... Um, conspiracy theories right now from the fact that they thought that China was making a personal beef with coronavirus mm -hmm. to America yeah. to 5G and the lo lo um, list of others. There's all the other celebrities, including PDD, that I am going to watch today on how this is like a life or death thing and it's child making a fuss about it. But so far, this is somebody that I have heard and it, I feel like his, his warning is based on knowledge rather than just fear monger. Um, there is... A history with black people they're more displaced their health are worse because they don't have access to good health systems their lifestyles their feeding blah 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 so obviously these people a lot of those people in the black community are either already cramped up and um just are not very like i guess you, you can say that they're not they, their community aren't giving special attention so they're more likely and more susceptible to getting the virus but i don't think it's a like they're injecting black people mm. with the virus so it's like a deliberate thing but a lot of black people have history in america at least with asthma and already underlying diseases from drugs and all that type of stuff so it is um, a natural thing to see in the progression. It's not about a, a race. I know America love talking about race, but I don't think this is a race thing. And I, I like how Tyler Perry's come about it saying, as my people, yes, but you have to understand that you can also, you have control over how this virus um, um, has an effect in your life by staying safe and keeping home and not moving around and not associating. I mean, I follow a lot of people in America and they're still doing sleepovers, they're still turning up, they're still using this lockdown as a means to socialize. So let's not play a pity party with race, but I think you, it, it, it would be wise to heed to um, Tyler Perry's wisdom of saying that just stay safe and stay educated on the virus and try and protect yourself in the best way possible. Well said, um, especially um, I, I saw the um, death toll of... Um, what's it called, coronavirus um, victims in America and majority were um, African-Americans. And um, 
I, like you rightly said, um, it's because most of the time they're cramped up. They, they, the way we greet each other, the way, you know, we're used to the whole, mm. you know, my brother, my sister, my this, my that. And then you, you're trying to get too close and then they're not really practicing the social distancing. And then the belief of the um, conspiracy theory, a lot of them don't even believe that it is an actual virus. They believe, oh, this is something they brought to reduce the population. This is something they brought to deal with certain people. It's a beef between China and America. But a lot of people just need to get educated on what this virus is about because it has been there. It's, it's not like it just yeah. came out all of a sudden. Coronavirus has been there. It is um, in the family of but the last fever. Do you remember it's, when this thing first came out? And I, I think the first person in America to get cured or well, not cured, but recovered early mm. was some Telinganese guy in America. And there was this huge thing. Even Africans believed it that um, it doesn't work on black people. Do you remember that? Melanin is fighting it. Yes, and mm. that, and something about our our structure. Obviously, if you believe in the evolution theory. Um, black race is the strongest. Um, so there was that ideology as well that, you know, we have a better mm. um, chance know, of fighting belief. diseases anyway. But um, I, I think that kind of made people slack a lot. Even in Africa, I thought that sub our weather and the sub-Saharan African weather will help. Nah, it's not like that. So um, obviously we have to <laughs> keep up with it. And I think because it's such a um, novel virus where the knowledge is almost like it's happening as time goes and you have to kind of update yourself. On, there's yeah, so you, much space for... For um, conspiracy theories. Sorry. Yeah, I, I just hope that um, they would listen. I don't want this to be a race issue because if you now take away, because the, the, the data you're talking about was basically from Illinois. And if you take that away from Illinois and look at it globally, then you cannot say that it's just the blacks that are the major people that are dying. You no, know? I'm talking about in America. Yeah, yeah. so um, I, I wouldn't like. Also a lot in that population. I wouldn't anyway. like that conversation to. To become a race thing because i believe this is something everyone should come together and fight if we now begin to bring race or oh you're from this country or you're from not, this it to be a problem I think there but be... they have to also understand that this is not a conspiracy theory like if it has rightly said it is not a a thing that does not exist that people are trying to lay 5g pipe like that is just so ridiculous and a lot of us believed it even in melanin part i think i believed it for a while before until we heard that one person died i'm like okay is in nigeria actually so they just need to educate them the, 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 there is an update every two weeks on this virus mm. and it's even those that are giving us the information will tell you that they are also trying to understand it that we should just be careful so the best thing like he summed it up is just to follow instructions practice social distancing that is the best thing we can do and um, I hope that this goes away soon because I'm tired mm. we all hope Okay, so Twitter erupts as M.I. Abaga and Vector are set to feature on Mayoko's gang. Nigerian singer Mayoko announced that he will be releasing three remixes to his viral song called Gang. Um, the remixes will be focused on Africa, Nigeria, and the UK. The Nigerian version will feature M.I. Abaga, Vector, Sinzu, and YC. The African version will feature Kwesi, Arthur, Ricky Rick, Ray, Vani, and Inos B, while the UK version will feature Ms. Banks and Roos. I need to find my and I just need to hug him. Why? But I know we can't do that because it's a social distancing. distancing. But I will hug him. This is such like I haven't heard it yet, and I am like excited. You can imagine is, like, flowing through my voice. I think I'm he looking has... forward for the one with Miss Banks. Same. Miss Banks is um, just they, fire. They, they, Apart from MI, which we will go to MI and Vector, mm -hmm. this, this list is, this lineup rather, is like psh, mind, mind blowing. blowing. I love all of them there. Ricky Rick, even Arthur, like they're amazing act, um, musicians. So I can't wait to see how like it all comes together. Mm. Because the song already is a banger. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't really need much. So I'm hoping nobody messes it up, obviously. But I, I'm really sure like he's just going to, it kind of gave me the vibe of um, this guy that sang the box, Rick, Richie. That, that, Rich, what a rich. Yes. Um, where he had that song where that had many um, uh, features and did the country music version and the DJ version and the pop. I feel like that's... The caustic version. Well. Yes. I feel like that, that, like this gang song is worthy of that. Like we should keep on listening to it for like... Weeks and weeks, even in 2020, just give us like different versions of it. Like, I'm here for it. I'm here for everything. But we're going to take it back to MI and Vector. I don't really see the juice in it. Um, I think that they're more mature than we anticipate. And I think that a lot of it is also social media banter. I don't really think that these people are hitting each other away from social media as well. Maybe it started off as that, but I think they're over it because they've sang other songs together before 
as in even when the um, fight erupted, mm -hmm. and they don't have to be in the same space. And I don't think they hate each other to a point where they don't want to make creative like and they don't um, have music to be in together. the same studio to make this exactly. Song. So I don't I don't really see the point. But if they're going to then tassie each other in the song, then I'm here for it. Then maybe we can discuss that this topic again next time. <laughs> but until then, I'm just like it might all just be banter and they'll just rap, rap, rap and go home. I don't know. Big shout out to Mega Cook because this is a very good business strategy because um, it's going to be making a lot of more money, more waves and um, more publicity obviously from this um, concept he's put together, the African version, the Nigerian version and the UK version. So that's amazing. I'm personally looking forward to um, the Nigerian, Nigerian version because um, of um, Vector and MI. Like you rightly said, um, this is not the first time they've been on a song. They did down one on one with Zoro as well just right after the beef so um like you like you also said which was very lame it was not a great song the zoro no, one right yeah it wasn't, wasn't great wasn't at all nice. zoro sorry <laughs> <laughs> so but at the end of the day i'm just looking forward to it this is a um, welcome development who sings can, who sings that's um uh, kid yeah oh. okay so um we have to go but before that i have to repeat again that you have an opportunity to be featured on dstv 408 and that's plus tv africa and we're showing across africa so all you have to do is send us a video of you telling us what your routine is during this lockdown or if you don't like to talk too much then just send us a video of you vibing to your favorite song at the moment well gang is an option so mm -hmm. since we just talked about gang so please send your um videos via whatsapp Make sure it's not more than one minute long to 090-6057-19. I'll take that again. 090-6057-19. I would love to watch you do what you do and also feature you on our next episode of Tea Time. That's at 4.30 p.m. West African time. Um, thank you for watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And of course, my thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Olu Washington and Ife Omai and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying do stay safe and um, stay home.